Hello and welcome to Bedrock University, Medicare Basics for Agents. Introduction. There are two types of Medicare clients, one, switchers, and two, new to Medicare. Type one, switchers. Switchers are clients who already have Medicare and are enrolled in a secondary product like Medicare Advantage or a supplemental plan. These clients must have a valid enrollment period to make a switch to a new plan. Switchers, enrollment periods. The most common enrollment period or EP for switchers are AEP, the annual enrollment period. This occurs every year between October 15th and December 7th. Any plan selected will take effect on January 1 of the following year. SEP or special enrollment period. This is based on a qualifying condition, like a move or loss of coverage. The effective date will take place on the first of the month following their enrollment or application. Type two, new to Medicare. Most clients who are NTM or new to Medicare are those that are turning 65 and are enrolling in their initial enrollment period or IEP. Keep in mind that people with certain health conditions or disabilities can qualify prior to turning 65. The initial enrollment period is a seven month window to join Medicare, generally when you turn 65. The first and most common example is when someone turns 65 on the second day of the month or later, their IEP will begin three months prior to their birthday month. In this case, someone who turns 65 on June 2nd or later in the month will begin their IEP on March the 1st and end it on September the 30th or the last day of that month. There is one exception that's important to note in example two. When someone turns 65 and their birth date falls on the first day of the month, their IEP begins a full month earlier. In this example, someone is turning 65 on the 1st of June. This means that instead of starting on March 1, their IEP will begin on 2-1 or February 1st. Their plan can take effect as early as May 1st and their IEP ends August 31st or the last day of that month. So that whole seven month window has moved back one month. This is the only exception. Generally, the rule will be the three months preceding the month of the birthday and the three months following the birthday. New to Medicare first contact. When a client contacts you for the first time, you need to maximize the opportunity and make sure you're setting a foundation for success. Here are a few steps to ensure it goes smoothly. Create a client file, qualify the lead, and schedule an appointment. Creating a file. To create a client file in Bedrock, you will need to gather the following information as part of the scheduling process. Their full name, address, date of birth, phone number, and email. This information is essential in to order to be contacting and staying in touch with the client. You'll also need this information when you schedule the appointment. New to Medicare, qualifying the lead. To ensure that your leads are quality leads that can in fact purchase a plan, there are a few things you want to check on. First, are they Medicare eligible? Do they have a Medicare A or B card or ID number, or can they enroll in the near future? Two, current coverage. What is their current healthcare coverage? Depending on the type of coverage they have, they may or may not be able to continue with that coverage instead of taking Medicare. Additionally, some retirement and or government retirement plans can impact Medicare. It's important to know the difference. Three, retirement. When do they plan to retire? Again, some people may have the option to defer their Medicare while staying on what's called creditable coverage. If a client is planning to continue to work and stay on their employer-sponsored health plan or their spouse's employer-sponsored health plan, they may not need to take Medicare right now. So this is an important question to ask. 
Finally, Social Security. Are they currently receiving benefits from the Social Security Administration? This can be in the form of disability benefits or retirement benefits. Keep in mind that if someone is taking Social Security benefits, they will be automatically enrolled in Medicare in most situations. New to Medicare, scheduling appointments. Work with the client to find a convenient time when they have at least 45 to 60 minutes to discuss their Medicare options. They will need access to their email during the call. Let them know that the agent will call them on the phone number that they provided. Ask them to have their current health care information, such as ID cards, and a list of their doctors and prescriptions on hand. Finally, confirm that they received the email invite. This is an important step because you don't want to hang up with the client until you're sure that they know where, when, and how to meet with you next. New to Medicare, first appointment. It's important to be prompt, greet the client, build rapport, set expectations, gather information, and schedule the next call. In the next few slides, we'll discuss what each of these items consists of. Being prompt, call your client on time and communicate with them if you're running late. You won't get a second chance at a first impression, so make sure it's your best. Greeting, let them know who you are and why you're calling. For example, hey John, this is Mindy with Bedrock Medicare. Is this still a good time to talk? Rapport. Make small talk with the client as you ask them about their Medicare needs. It's important to connect with them on a personal level. Don't be afraid to share with them. Set expectations by creating a roadmap of what you will cover during the appointment. Example, hey, before we get started, I'd like to give you an overview of what we'll be doing today. First, I'd like to get to know you and answer any questions you have. Then we can chat about how Medicare works and pull some quotes for you. At the end, we'll discuss next steps and anything else you need to get started on. Does that sound okay? Gathering information. As you're chatting with the client, gather information about their needs and what they're looking for in a health plan. Take notes in Bedrock. Send them quotes for any plans that might be a good fit for their needs. Scheduling the next call. After providing quotes and reviewing their options, let them know what their next steps are. Example, if they need to apply for Medicare, schedule the next appointment for two to four weeks out and ask them to email you when their Medicare application is approved. Make sure to set a follow-up reminder to check in with them a few days before the appointment. That concludes our information on new to Medicare and switchers. Thank you.